At another historic site in Illinois, visitors from around the world come to pay their respects to one of our greatest presidents. However, many who visit that location fail to notice the artwork that adorns Lincoln's tomb in Springfield. The Lincoln Tomb was actually dedicated in 1874. It took five years to build, and prior to the construction time, four years to raise the money to construct the tomb. The money, interestingly enough, was all donated. Churches, school groups, veterans groups, the state of Illinois, and an interesting donation by the federal government, 65 bronze cannon barrel. While efforts were underway to create a permanent resting place, the president's body was kept in a receiving vault at the bottom of the hill. Several months later, it was moved to a temporary family vault located near where the Lincoln tomb stands today. On the upper deck, detailed statuary depicts the four branches of the Union military, the infantry, cavalry, artillery, and navy all cast from the 65 Civil War bronze cannons donated by the federal government. The actual construction or manufacturing of those units was donated by a different city. The city of New York donated the naval statue on the upper deck. The city of Chicago donated the infantry. Philadelphia donated the artillery and the cavalry was donated by Boston. During the 1930s, a major renovation project opened the interior hallways to the public while adding more artwork. The largest piece, a bust of Lincoln, stands at the foot of the tomb and was done by Goodson Borglum, who is best remembered for his work at Mount Rushmore. Inside, visitors are greeted by scale reproduction, done by Daniel French, of the statue he created for the Lincoln Memorial in Washington, D.C. Then as guests proceed to the burial chamber, they pass a series of statues commemorating various parts of Lincoln's life. The statuary on the interior is really remarkable because it portrays the president's pu public career. As you go around, you'll see the ranger and the soldier as a, as a soldier during the Black Hawk War. And then you get around a little bit further, the statesman and um, the circuit rider just different periods of his public career. There are actually four plaques on the interior, a biographical sketch of President Lincoln, and then as you go through portions of his more famous speeches, his farewell address when he left Springfield for Washington, D.C., of course the Gettysburg Address, and then portions of his second inaugural address. As the guests near the burial chamber, they pass through partially opened gates by having them partially pulled out, it really announces to the visitor that this is, this is the most special part of the tomb. This is where the president is buried. The flags surrounding the president's burial stone um, are significant. From the left around to the right, we start out with the four states where uh, Lincoln's ancestors lived when they came here from England. And those are the states of Massachusetts, New Jersey, Pennsylvania and Virginia. The center flag, of course, everyone will recognize is that of the United States. And then around from that flag, the states in which Lincoln himself lived, Kentucky, Indiana, and Illinois. And the final flag on the right is the presidential flag. While many visitors focus on the burial chamber, it's the statuary that changes the experience from viewing a final resting place to celebrating an extraordinary life. As you go through the tomb, you are seeing his life, not just his, his final resting place. And I think that's the great thing about the tomb, is it's a tribute to the contributions that Abraham Lincoln made to this country. One of the greatest tributes to Lincoln is that his burial tomb, along with all the detailed statuary, was achieved through donations from a grateful union and public.
Of the four Lincoln children, three are buried in the family tomb. Robert Todd Lincoln, who was the only son to reach adulthood, died in 1926. He and his wife and son are buried in Arlington National Cemetery. For more information about the Lincoln Tomb State Historic Site, call 217-782-2717 or go to www.illinoishistory.gov.